everybody lost someone they loved and the heartbreak is it's really almost unbearable and so we're doing everything we can we're making sure people know that when they get one of these that it means that people all around the world are praying for them so please keep them in your prayers once your breath is gone yeah. that's right. it right. you know and a lot of people die you know, my, husband, my husband's mm -hmm. family is from the east from Sweden ski and east end and stuff so they lost a lot of people in their families so you know his cousin the flood on the, on the wind carry a whole house with her her, her her father her children and her grandchildren so that's like a family of nine just gone so i don't know mm. yeah yeah how many people do you think died in grand bahama it's hard to say because some people still missing mm -hmm. you know some people still displaced so they can't get to get in contact with people but it's the worst we ever had it but we will recover like how we always do they lost a lot a lot flooding god you never you still understand the power of storm surge even if your house isn't blown away the storm surge can just trap you inside your home it's so scary I'm a nurse that came here to um, help with this cause here in the Bahamas. Um, we are working out of a church. We set up a clinic. Basically, we just need more people. So we saw over 50 people yesterday. It was incredible. So over here, we have um, our supplies laid out. And basically, I'm going to get the patients. I'm going to uh, triage them. I'm going to get them back to Dr. Stu. And then they're going to walk back out here. We're going to get their meds to bring them home with. Um, and it's just going to go really quick. This lady, by never punch out through her own roof to escape the storm and climb up on the roof, had to punch out from the high waters. Yes. If you want to do this and you have a heart for these people, uh, you can help. Today, the rest of the group from uh, Irish and Ariel are all leaving Iowa. Bahamas so we can be prepared for the new teams to come in and then we will stay here long term through team after team after team for long-term restoration. We are looking for resources. Yes, we obviously need to have bodies here, but we are looking for the resources, whether it be donations through money, through supplies. We're here to love them and bring them life and bring them hope in the darkest times of their life. We just took nine hours to do a 30, 45 minute flight because we went on an emergency evacuation and uh, it was well worth it. Her story is the worst one I've heard so far. Roofs flying off, swimming through the ocean, and sitting in the water for two days up to your waist, just sitting there until it subsided and you could actually leave because you're trapped. Ever, and this woman got through and we were the only way that she could get out. It was so worth it to just see somebody just have that kind of sense of peace 